Right, so I'm outside in the garden on a lovely autumnal afternoon to talk about a couple of things to do with wildlife gardening. So one of the questions we often get asked is why should we not be using peat in our garden? Well, the reason is that peat, basically peat is decomposing vegetation that's formed in waterlogged conditions. So it forms a lot of our bogs, fens and moors. Now, it takes a long, long time to form. So it will grow by only half to one millimeter a year. So it takes a very long time to form. And a lot of those peat bogs have been around for up to 10,000 years. And they can be up to 10 meters deep. So they take a very long time to form and they are unique habitats that are home to several very rare species, some very interesting species, such as the carnivorous sundew. So we've got these lovely, lovely habitats. And the other thing is that they are an amazing sink for carbon. So they hold a huge amount of carbon. And obviously right now, particularly, we're thinking about carbon and the fact that we want it to be locked up in those peat bogs and not released into the atmosphere. Now, if we were to remove just 5% of the peatland that we have in the UK, that would be equal to our annual amount of greenhouse gases. So you can see how important it is that it stays locked up in the peat bog. And if we use that to make compost to spread over our gardens, then we are actually releasing that as carbon dioxide and that's contributing to global warming. So we want to retain those important peat habitats for the sake of all of those interesting species, but also to keep that carbon locked up where it should be and not being released into the atmosphere. So as gardeners, we should be looking at peat-free alternatives and there definitely are plenty of those on the market. Or alternatively, you could have a go at making your own compost.